Mr. Mom Collectibles. I'm back with another video. And today I wanna to show you how to wire up a button cell battery device. For example, this Darth Maul um, light up lightsaber arm that takes the button cell batteries to USB. That way it could always stay plugged in. And you could use this strategy for other Hot Toys items um, that don't have USB power yet. I know the newer ones do, but for some of our older figures, and I wanna go through a list of the supplies that I'm using. And you'll see here, um, the first thing you'll need is a soldering iron. I got this off Amazon for like 10 to 15 bucks as part of a set, um, so it's pretty easy to get. The next thing you'll need is this right here, the CMT. Um, this stuff actually you put on the wire to help actually the solder um, connect better. And you'll also need a uh, solder wire as well. These are just standard items that come with a soldering kit. And you'll also have some heat shrink here that you would actually uh, slide over the connection and heat shrink it. Plus you'll need a sponge. Like I said, these are typical items. Um, if you were to get a soldering kit and also you'll need a pair of uh, uh, electrical snips to actually strip the coating off the wires and I'll show you how to do that. Um, these are all items that come in a kit usually you can get all together and then this is actually some uh, this is 28 gauge uh, wire. Um, this is the actual connection wire that I'll use to solder up to the um, the figures. Uh, I'll link all the descriptions and the um, links to all the stuff in the video below. And you also need a heat shrink gun. It's not recommended to use like a blow dryer. This is an actual heat uh, heat gun. Um, it actually pr gives out the proper amount of heat and is the best thing to do. And then this device here is something that um, is pretty common with soldering. It's just basically two pinch clamps and a magnifying glass and you actually hold the wires for you. It's an extra set of hands basically. And once again, this is the Darth Maul dual bladed lightsaber that would normally have uh, button cell batteries. Opened up the cover and to expose, you see the three button cell batteries. Um, this is important because where you're actually gonna be soldering is you're gonna be replacing these batteries. So we're gonna remove the batteries altogether. They die out so fast. And where I'm, the solder connections I'm pointing to right now with the screwdriver. So one of them is gonna be the spring and then the other end, those are the two soldering connections. Um, forgive me the terminology. I'm, like I said, I don't claim to be an expert in this stuff. I learned from other people and I'm still kind of learning and developing my own technique as I go, but I'm basically showing you the connection points that you'll be soldering the wire to, the 28 gauge wire, that is basically acting like the replacements for the button cell batteries. Um, so I'm just showing you this once again under the magnifying glass so you get an idea of the concept of what you're doing. You're replacing the batteries per se and soldering a wire to each of those points. And then here as you see I removed the batteries to give you a better idea and then there you see the spring um, spring loaded and then the other end too so the negative and the positive basically if you want to call it that um, that's where the batteries would go so it, where I'm pointing with the screwdriver that's where you're going to be making a solder connection with the 20 with two wires one of them is going to go with the springs and then the other goes on the opposite end and then here is just basically showing you the 28 gauge wire and I actually stripped the end of it um, like I said, this is like basic electrical stuff. And then you can see here, I have it set up with the uh, extra hands. One hand is holding the mall lightsaber arm. And then the other one is actually holding the wire basically right in place of where I want to solder it right to that base point. Um, so this is just giving you another idea, another perspective of what I'm about to do. Now, just to keep in mind, um, I can't actually show you guys soldering. My technique isn't great. I'm still learning to solder. Um, I just because I need you know all my hands available while filming the video. But if you need help with soldering, YouTube, just go to YouTube and type in soldering techniques and 101s, and you'll you know you'll pick up pretty fast in terms of actually how to solder. So that's the first tip is you know watch some YouTube videos on actually how to solder connection points um, before attempting to do anything like this. And as you can see here, this is just giving an update. I soldered both wires to the connection points. One of them is on the spring and the other one's on the opposite end um, of where I pointed to originally. So both these 20, both these wires are right now soldered to the arm itself. And then what I'm gonna do is take the, um, the figure, I'm gonna undress the figure to an extent. Um, for me, I don't want the wires just hanging off the lightsaber. I actually wanna run them through the figure to be as discreet as possible. Luckily with Darth Maul, it's, there's not a lot of layers to take off of his outfit, so I just removed a little bit to expose that one arm. And I'm actually gonna feed the wires down his coat and his multiple layers of his uh, vest, if you wanna call it. I'm gonna up, up the sleeve and down the back so the wires will hang out the back of the figure. And this is what it looks like. So you have the figure, the arm with the two soldered wires. It runs up through the sleeve and it goes down the back. And those are the, 
the end. So I'm going to show you where those actually connect to. And then what you do is basically just straighten the arm out. And what's nice about the Darth Maul is he comes with like this plastic cuff. So this is actually going to go over the forearm and actually cover up those wires. So you're never going to see any wires from the arm. And then just basically you have to feed the arm back up through the shirt sleeve and connect that arm so it's good to go. And this is what the figure looks like. So you'll have the cuff link back on the on the forearm and the wires already run up through the um, up through the sleeve and out the back and then it's ready to go so right now these are the other ends and I'm going to show you actually how to solder those to a USB wire and that's pretty much the final step in terms of this process so now you just basically have to buy a USB a USB-C or a regular USB I bought a pack of these off Amazon it was like a pack of 10 and you can decide which one you want to use we're going to use the bigger USB because I have a hub and what you're going to do is you basically take your snips and actually cut um, a percentage of this wire off and then that's what we're actually going to solder the other two wires to. So what I did here is you see I just cut, it doesn't matter how much of this you want to cut, so you cut this off and inside you'll see four, a uh, black, a red, green, and white. The two that we want to focus on is the black and the red. The other two are data transfer, so we don't need those. We just need the two for power. So we're going to solder one end of the 28 gauge to the black wire of the USB and the other one we're going to solder to the red. So that's actually going to be the power itself. The white and the green are meant for uh, data transfer because the USB, USB-C, you can use it for different media, uh, different, you know, different versions and just charging. Um, so we're going to repeat the process. It's just basically typical soldering. And this is where I'm going to use the heat shrink. And the heat shrink, I'm going to slide onto each wire, and you'll see what I'm going to do with that afterwards. Um, but we're going to, what I did here is I soldered the wires together. And then you can see here I'm just doing a test. And as you can see, it lights up. I'm plugging it into a regular USB outlet power and just doing some tests all throughout the process to make sure the lighting works. That way, if there's any issues, I could stop what I'm doing and correct the issue on the spot without getting too uh, in the weeds with it, so to speak. And then what I'm going to do is actually heat shrink, use the heat shrink tubing and heat shrink those connections. So this is the final product. It's basically the figure itself. I'm just going to kind of do a test. And um, you'll see I'll, I'll unplug it from the back wall and plug it back in. And I just want to be clear, this is I'm still learning this process. I got to thank uh, in the video Denobi2. He's doing a lot of USB wiring stuff. So as you see here, there's two wires hanging out. You could like twine those together so it's just one single wire. He shrink the whole thing. Like I said, I'm not claiming this is the best and final way to do it. This is just a video to kind of give you an idea of the concept. And then you could take this and perfect this on your own. I'm actually perfecting it with each figure that I do. Um, I've done this to three figures at the time of filming this video, and I've tweaked it a little bit per figure, but it works for my display, and the purpose of this video is just to give you an understanding of how simple this actually is, but take this as a concept and obviously make it your own and, and perfect what I have done. So like for me, going forward, where you see the two wires hanging out the back of the mall, I'll probably end up heat shrinking those together and make one wire. So, like I said, guys, this is just giving you an example of what you can do with figures that don't have the USB capability yet, and if you really want to get away from the button cell batteries. Um, like I said, just take this as a kind of a rough tutorial and make this your own. But uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and make sure to hit that notification for upcoming streams and videos.